Hello and welcome to this basic CNC tutorial. This is for doing a very, very basic sign that says 2019 using vCarve desktop software and the CNC Sharp computer interface. The goal of this particular video is to generate G code and to load it into the CNC interface. Now again, this is an incredibly basic video, just if you're doing um, maybe your first time CNCing or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. The uh, program that we're going to be using is called vCarve Desktop. Uh, it's a proprietary software. It generates G-code. There are a number of videos on YouTube for it. They have video tutorials with it. This is just how you get started, though. We are going to create a new file right here. And there is a wide variety of uh, choices that we can make right here. For me, the size of the board that I'm going to be working on is 14 inches wide and 10 inches high. And it is 0.75 or 3 quarters of an inch thick. There are different model resolutions that you can click on right here. I generally keep it at standard. And the appearance, you can choose... Um, what sort of wood. I generally just keep it at Canadian Maple. It's the basic interface. It's the, it's the go-to right there. Click OK when you have made all your choices. And now, again, this is going to be an incredibly basic video, so we are just going to put 2019 right in the middle of this board. In order to do that, we are going to create, or click this, draw text within a vector box. Click right there. Now, you get to enter your text just like any sort of word program that you've used before. So for this, 2019. And you get to choose all sorts of different fonts that you want. Um, I'll just choose Helvetica. It is bound to this size box right here. You can change these diameter or these dimensions of boxes if you want to shrink it or enlarge it. And we can click Apply and it will put 2019 pretty well exactly centered in that box. Now again, don't be scared to play with some of these uh, uh, settings right here. Vertical stretch makes it uh, stretch out the numbers vertical if you have a space to uh, fill. Horizontal stretch is much the same way. But for this video, this is about as basic as I'm going to want to do it. Now we have to tell the machine uh, how to cut this out, and that is with toolpaths right here in the upper right-hand corner. Click toolpaths, and again, this is a basic video, so I'm going to use quick engrave. Click on it right there. I am going to outline the numbers. Um, you can do select different tools. I happen to have a 90 degree 0.3 millimeter uh, line bit in there. And all we have to do to do this is save the tool path to the file. Click right there. And it will be 2019 and generate a tap file.tap. And I will save this on my desktop, just like so. Um, now, next that I have this file done, and you can see that it's got little arrows right there that's going to dictate how everything is going to run. I'm going to click on the CNC Shark uh, interface right there, and that brings it up already, and we have to load our G-code now. So file, load the G-code, and it's right there, 2019, click open and it is ready to go. The machine now has figured out a uh, uh, method of cutting. Lock the board into the uh, CNC machine, which I'm going to show in a follow-up video, and then you are going to click Run File. We don't have a touch plate on our CNC. Click Cancel. It loads the file. And then once everything is set in the CNC, you click OK to begin the program. So again, I will have a secondary video set up for this where we lock the wood in and we click OK so we can see this 2019 get routed out. So go ahead, stop this video, rewind and replay as many times as you need. 
in order to get this laid out in your um, in your board.